Hello everyone. In this lesson we'll look at the primary effects of controls. So we have three main primary controls. We have our elevator, which is located in the tail section, this one. We have our ailerons, which are located towards the edge of our wings on both sides. And we have our rudder. So you, most of you should be familiar with the rudder. So the primary effect of our aileron is when I move my control column to the left. So if I get rid of my autopilot, there we go. So if I move my control column to the left, as we can see, we start rolling. And we start rolling around this imaginary line that's going from the tail to the nose. And that's what we call our longitudinal axis. So we're rolling. We go If we roll to the left, same as a car, left out one. If we want to roll to the right, there we go, roll to the right, and the airplane rolls to the right. So that's our first primary effect of our ones, is roll. Alright, our second one, so let's have a look. Our second primary control is our elevator. So I pull back, and my airplane will start climbing. There we go, we can see that the nose has come up uh, in reference to the horizon. And if I push forward, then I start descending. So, there we go. That's our primary effect of our elevator. Okay, so that's pitch. So what are we pitching around? It's this imaginary line going from the wingtip to wingtip, which we call the lateral axis. And we're pitching around the lateral axis. And the third one, third primary control, third primary control is our rudder. Okay, so if I push the rudder to the left, then we yaw to the left. If I push the rudder to the right, we yaw to the right. So primary effect of our rudder is yaw. And if you imagine an imaginary string tied up to the airplane, and that's going through the top to bottom, we're sort of yawing around that. That's what we call the normal axis. That's all for today. See you next time.